Honorable Governor Sri Arin Ramiji and his gracious lady wife, Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nipiru and his gracious lady wife, Sri Tia Zeling, Honorable Leader of NPF Legislative Party and former Chief Minister of Nagaland, all my cabinet colleagues, advisors, MLAs, senior government officials, representatives of civil societies, tribal bodies, distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, as we gather here today to bid farewell to one of the most active governors that our state had. I am overwhelmed looking back at how Sri Arin Raviji has given the state government his expertise, guidance and encouragement all throughout. We all are here today to bid farewell to our honorable governor who has been with us for a little more than two years as governor but his association with our state and the people goes much beyond that. Studying from his days in police service, when as a part of his job, he began to keenly follow the development of our state. He became truly one of us when he was made the interlocutor for our state. For the peace, Naga Peace Talks in 2014 and then after about five years he became our governor in August 2019. While continuing as the interlocutor as we look at all these years you will all agree with me of his immense contribution and role in guiding and shaping the most crucial and far-reaching events that have impacted and influenced our state in the past many years. Friends, when I speak about his time as a governor here, the thing that remains impressed in my mind is his singular passion for understanding the core issues concerning any development matters and using his good office for ensuring removal of any impediment or complication that may be hampering the time and fast progress of that matter. The deep concern shown by him all along for smooth an early completion of some very critical and hugely beneficial projects for the people of the state, particularly the road projects, has been very valuable. And I train many others in expressing our immense gratitude for all his kind interior in the interest of the people of the state. Our Honorable Governor is now moving for, from Nagaland to another state, Tamil Nadu, as a Governor and taking into consideration all the aspects, this new assignment is another proof of the great confidence that everyone continues to have in his inherent capabilities and seasoned leadership qualities. The doors of Raja Sabha, uh, Raj Bhavan have always been open for deliberation on how to take the state towards progress and development at the bar with other states of the country. We will continue to derive listen from the advice and exemplary statesmen chief of Sri Arun Raviji on various issues confronting the state of Nagaland. We will be continually inspired 
by the wise and well thought out advice given on various matters by our Sri Arin Ramiji, the Honorable Governor from time to time, for the better man of the state and the people, and we all heartily wish him good health, success, and even higher levels of achievement in his next assignment as Governor of Tamil Nadu and in all his future interviews. Thank you, Jayam.